Hello, I'm Dola, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how users can troubleshoot DNS failures with Amazon EKS. Let's get started. Pods running inside the Amazon EKS cluster use the core DNS service cluster IP as the default name server for querying internal and external DNS records. Applications can fail DNS resolutions if there are any issues with the core DNS pods, the service configuration, or connectivity. The core DNS pods are abstracted by a service object called kubeDNS. To troubleshoot issues with your core DNS pods, you must verify that all the components of the kubeDNS service are working. These components include but are not limited to service endpoint options and IP table rules. From your EKS workstation, run the following commands and retrieve cluster IP. We will see cluster IP to be 10.100.0.10 or 172.20.0.10. To verify endpoints which are exposed by our service Coop DNS, we need to run the command. Please note that if the endpoints list is empty, we need to check the pod status of the core DNS pods. From the above command, we were able to identify the endpoints which are being exposed via service kube DNS. As we can see in the current output, IP addresses of the core DNS pods match the endpoints. This confirms that they are the ones being exposed via service kube DNS. To verify there is any network constraint, we will need to check security groups attached to the worker nodes and knackles attached to the subnets. Verify Coproxy is working as expected and is able to access the API server. To check logs of Coproxy, run the command. Note the Coproxy gets the endpoint from control plane and creates the IP table rules on every worker node. To troubleshoot DNS issue, if application pod doesn't support shell binary, you will see the following message. For debugging, we can either update the image used in deployments or pods, manifest, or create a new deployment using another image such as the busybox image. To verify that the cluster IP of the Coop DNS service is in your pods slash etc slash resolve dot conf, run the following command in the shell inside of the pod. The following example resolve dot conf shows a pod that's configured to point at 10.100.0.10 for DNS requests. The IP should match the cluster IP of your Coop DNS service. To verify that your pod can resolve an internal domain using the default cluster IP, run the following command in the shell inside the pod. To verify that your pod can resolve an external domain using the default cluster IP, run the following command in the shell inside the pod. To verify that your pod can resolve using the IP address of core DNS pods directly, run the following commands in the shell inside the pod. Replace the core DNS pod IP with one of the endpoints IPs that we got by running kubectl get endpoints command that we used earlier. Get more detailed logs from core DNS pods for debugging. To enable the debug log of core DNS pods, and add the log plugin to the core DNS config map, run the following command. In the editor screen that appears in the output, add the log string, see the following example. You can restart the pod one by one to apply the changes immediately. To check if core DNS logs are failing or getting any hits 
from the application pod run the following command search and n dot combination please note that the n dot value is the number of dots that must appear in the name to resolve a query before an initial absolute query is made for example you can set the n dots option to the default value 5 in a domain name that is not fully qualified then all external domains that don't fall under the internal domain cluster.local are appended to search domains before querying see the following example with the slash etc slash resolve.com setting of the application pod codeNS looks for five dots in the domain being queried if the pod makes a DNS resolution call for amazon.com, your log looks similar to, to the following. NX domain means that the domain record wasn't found and no error means that the domain record was found. Every search domain is prepended with amazon.com before making the final call on the absolute domain at the end. The final domain name is appended with a dot at the end which makes it fully qualified domain name this means that for every external domain name query there could be four to five additional calls which can overwhelm the code dns pod to resolve this issue either change n dots to one or append a dot at the end of the domain that is queried or used vpc dns resolver has a limit on how many packets it can receive per network interface. This is a hard limit, which is 1024 packets per second. If more than one core DNS pod is on the same worker node, then chances of hitting this limit are higher for external domain queries. To solve this issue, use pod anti-affinity rules. To schedule core DNS pods on separate instances, add the following options to the code dns deployment thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at aws